Day six, Wednesday. Coniston. Well, let's see if we can find a town called Coniston. Honest in water. The old man. I wonder if I need to go to the old man? We'll try going there and then we'll try another option later. Oh, there we go. The striking views at the top of the so-called Old Man of Coniston never fail to induce awe and wonder. Sadly, there are few people with the leisure to explore its heady heights. Today, it's just me and the sheep. That was not what it wanted. Alright, well next time I build up some travel. Mine wanders the current floating gently southward through the fork. I'll try like going through the fork next time. I'll build up some uh, travel by helping these people. The insects make the salt marshes uninhabitable. Shit. People stay away and not much grows there, but I know where to find an unusual plant. I've drawn you a map in case you decide it's worth your time. Thanks, Eleanor. Oh, shit. That's what a best friend is. Let's try this first. Little thing. Four. Hey, oh, the heavens open up. That was my first instinct, but I was like, maybe it just meant the old man, but that would have been too easy. Uh, the heavens open up as I reach the fork. I take a moment to pause and listen to the sound of water on water. I'm soaked through, but my spirits are high as I return home. I'm not empty-handed. Two new plants today. Ooh, they're both pretty. All right. Build up some more travel, and then we'll check out this. You'll need to know what the River Winster is. A damn witch. Thank you for your help and discretion earlier. The history. I can't talk today, sorry. The sisterhood is grateful, but the news that the Arda was poisoned with gilded dendra has everyone worried. The temporary acting Arda is panicking. I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but one of my sisters has gone missing. A runaway called Thea that we took in a few years ago. We're trying to find her, and Sister Charlotte remembered that the Jacob's Worth plan is said to help locate her. Man, I wish plants could do all this stuff. That'd be rad as shit. I do not have a green thumb, though. I'm terrible with plants. Which is funny, because, like, um... Two generate... Like, my grandfathers and backwards generation were all farmers. Uh, so... It's kind of funny that I am shit with plants. I think there'd be a bit of, like, genetic heritage of knowing what the hell to do. Like, I could take care of a simple house plant, but ever been able to get, like, fruits and vegetables to grow in a garden? I have terrible luck with it. Either some kind of bug or something kills it all, or some kind of garbage happens. Although I'm going to try to grow some, like, herbs and stuff this year. I'm a, I'm a big cook. I like cooking a lot, so I thought, oh, that'd be fun. All right. People tend to be drawn to the unusual flowers of the Jacob's Word. But it is the leaves that have the most interesting property. It is said they will point the way towards any person you wish to locate and have been used successfully to find many lost wanderer out on the fells. 
I wonder if like any of these plants are real. Not like real, like the weird stuff they do, but I wonder how much of this is like based off of real plants. I'm gonna say it loud. But... You seem to have a mind of her own. That's uh, there you go, witch. I'm not saying that derogatorily. She's cool. We will file you under weird shit. Weird shit shells get full. All right. Wonder how many days the game has. I'm thinking, like I said, because I'm just kind of getting back into streaming again. I'm probably going to cut it off for today. At the end of this day. Uh, and then I'll pick it up probably next Monday, just because I'm, I'm actually interested. This is pretty cool. I don't imagine it's a... T actually, this might be a decently long game. That map's pretty big for, like, what we've actually used it for. Um, so, I'm interested. I usually use Mondays to just play whatever random game I'm interested at the time. Uh, so it doesn't always turn into a full-out series, but we'll see. I kind of just play whatever I'm interested in, and... You know, if people drop in and want to talk about it and all that, that's kind of why I stream, but uh, I don't really chase what's popular. Never really been my jam. Because then you just build up an audience of people that are like, I like the newest game. Now, if you like the newest game, that's fine. All right, let's get on. Oh, wait. Travel. What I mean by that is, like, I don't chase whatever game is like super popular at the time because I don't know. I like to meet uh, people. I find it fun to meet people uh, streaming that like are interested in the same games I am. So I just kind of play whatever I want. And then uh, you know, when people drop in, uh, you can meet some cool people. I think I like accidentally placed it like right where it is anyway. Uh, then you'll meet some really cool people. Oh, in the swampy swamp. So it's either here or here. It's probably there. Ew. The air is thick with flying, biting insects, an unbearable plague. I fight against it for mere moments before I'm overwhelmed. If only I had some blue winter to keep them at bay. I can pull out plague of insects. Uh, blue winter. I don't fucking have blue winter. Shit. Shit, I don't. Or no, what am I talking about? Winter boar. Also known as blue aloe or blue winter. After its cool blue gray flowers, winter boar is a hardy plant often found growing in an extreme cold environment. Rubbery leaves make an effective insect repel. Sorry, repellent when applied to the skin. Blue aloe. Insect repellent. I'd file that under medicinal. We're gonna have to start putting weird shit category plants underneath because I think I filled up. Yeah, I filled up all the shells down to the end there. Anyway, these are the new ones we're working with, so we'll go from there. The blue winter saves my skin, but the swirling mass of insects is so thick in places that it is hard to see. At length, I come across what I came for and hurry away. Ooh, that thing looks deadly. That clue is fucking bugging me. I don't know if this like does something. I don't even know why I have that. That thing doesn't seem to do anything. Right. 
uh, we'll do one more travel. See if we can find that. Uh, I'm going to click the source of like a river near there and see if uh, randomly I find the right one. East source. Oh, well, figure it out eventually. Peggy. I read about a wonderful sounding ornamental plant, but my book didn't say what it was called or where to find it. It has curled leaves and a dark blue flower. They don't look curved, though. They don't look curved, either. Well, it's probably that. Yeah. Ew. We've had our eye on you for some time now. Here we go. Join us. Praise the Dendru. What the fuck is going on here? Now this crazy plant cult. Oh, I represent a grant. Sorry, <laughs> I represent a group called the Seeds of Redemption. Your expertise would be very useful to us, and we have much to offer in return. Let us know we can count on you by leaving a single St. John's poppy flower outside the Sad Guild Church before Friday. Do not make the mistake of ignoring us. Praise the Deirdre. I like people just fucking threatening me in a letter. Itch. Represent. Oh, the Seeds of Redemption. Also, that's a stupid name. Seeds of the Future would be cool. Uh, I don't know. I care about them. St. Jan, Poppy, outside. Source of the river. Winster. Fuck me. I'm just... I just have a bad sight. Boom. What? The source. The source. Alright, well, I know where the damn river is. Though. River Winston. You're the source of it. Would it be up here? Oh yeah, the so oh, I'm an idiot. It flows down into the sea. I forgot how rivers work. That's embarrassing. All right, let's talk to somebody else. <laughs> Verona saved me from myself. <laughs> I have returned from Swinside. I must admit I was hoping for more to go on, but there were certainly signs of a ritual having been performed at the Stone Circle. And the poor victim, well, the less said about him, the better. Reuben had it right, though. Grizzly. I have the beginnings of a theory, but I'd like to run some tests on a cup on a sample of gilded dendra. Aren't these idiots, dendru. Do not drink the sap of this plant. The lips and veins will turn black as the blood succumbs to dendra miasma, a sure and painful way to die. Uh, the poison is so potent that even touching the leaves of the plant can be painful. Hmm. That's the only... Yeah, but they're not curled. I'm 
not drink the sap of this plant, the lips and veins will turn black as the blood succumbs to dendra miasma. This could be it. Long flat leaves. The only one that looks right, like has split leaves in that. All right. Give her a try. Damn it. My fingers ache from handling it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess these ones look a little more like it. All right. Well, we can definitely file that boy under poison. There we go. Yellow is filling in. Was that the second yellow? Yes, I wouldn't really have a lot of poison. Okay, let's go to the source. Here we go. The hermit's camp is easy to find, nestled between two boulders above the spring. The cold remains of a fire ringed by stones is the only immediate sign that anyone was here. I call out, but there is no reply. The hermit is not here. A more thorough search of the campsite yields something interesting. Tucked off to one side, I discover some broken pieces of wood arranged on the floor. Down two over three. One, two, one, two, three. The camp at the Winter, sorry, Winster Spring has led me to another camp of sorts where I'm greeted by an eccentric man. I feel like I wouldn't go out to meet a random hobo. But uh, you know what? I'm a magic plant man, so this is what I do. Oh, yes, yes. Ho, 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 ho. The man says, you must take this. Take it, take it. At his insistence, I received the looking glass that he thrusts into my hands. He places an envelope delicately on top. Ho ho, it's no use to me anymore. Ho ho, no use. Don't forget the red. The red, the red, the red. Ho ho, Abony. I'm sure that he is quite mad. Yeah, he fucking is. Ooh, I got fucking steampunk magnifying glass. I hate steampunk. Come on, I obviously clicked the fucking piece of paper. It is said that the red abony plantae plant has the property of uncovering that which is hidden or secret. I have perfected a device designed to use extract from the plant. Oh, it's just a weird way of spelling plant. In concert with the viewing window in order to permit the user to see magics otherwise invisible to the naked eye. Is there anything on my fucking desk? Oh. My cat magic? Nope. Is this thing <laughs> just gonna look at a few things? That doesn't do anything. I don't want to look at every page. We'll come back. Map? doesn't do anything.
Maybe I need the yeah, red albany. I don't think I have that plant though. I think that was the one that I was missing. So I imagine I need to find this red arbory plant before I can do anything with that magnifying glass. Okay, too bad. And wood. My aunt died two weeks ago and I inherited her house. That's rad. Except for your dead aunt, sorry. I have been sifting through her possessions and last night I found something unusual. Is it a red arbory? In a forgotten corner of the attic, I found a coffin. That's... Uh, more unusual still, it was bound by strong vines, so strong that I cannot cut through them. I immediately thought of your shop. That coffin is cursed. I wouldn't fucking touch it. Uh, you know about plants, right? Yeah, I know about yeah. My whole thing. I only have one plant that looks like that. Let's read it, though. Sometimes called Everheart, the pink flowers of the royal gentia are made up of two large kidney-shaped petals. One of the few known ways to release the bind of Swift Snare is to apply a paste created from the sap of Royal Gentia. Another fucking plant under weird shit, though. Maybe we'll do one more day. Still, uh, well, I'm not like I'm not going to get disinterested, but like I got time to do one more. I was going to do a shorter stream today, though. I'm not going to go all the way till two, I don't think, unless like the next day is like extremely long. But you know what? We might as well do a solid week in the game. Maybe that's what we'll do for these uh, streams is do like a week in each stream just to kind of keep it as like a, uh, I don't know, slow start to get back into. I am going to do like a full length stream tomorrow for Monster Hunter because Fuck, am I excited to be playing Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate again? Uh, that was like one of my favorite Monster Hunter games, so. Before she left, she returned to her hiding place and carefully retrieved the book. Her excitement building as she did, she couldn't articulate what was so alluring to her about the book. But by now, it had become an obsession. <laughs> 